I saw here. Gabe. Yeah, I saw Gabe saucer. That is a Gabe saucer. Okay. He's got that pumpkin saucer skin. Yeah. Meanwhile, we've got an MS Zeus on the Lady Gaia frontline warthog. You know, it's interesting noting here that the Warthog has the highest DPS in the game, while Lady Gaia actually reduces air mech DPS by 5%. On the other hand, the Saucer has the best flight air, uh, the fl uh, has the best flight energy efficiency, and Gabe, his only notable negative is exactly that. Very so that's kind of funny to know. Now we're seeing Rex again, is yeah. killing those neutrals yeah. again. You're yeah, throwing Steve out XP, have... bro. Yeah. Yeah, every t Steve and I have mentioned that every single week. And MS Zeus actually also killed a ratchet here. I guess with the Warthog, it's a little harder to control, but he, oh, but the Warthog, I think, needs the XP even more. The Saucer actually, in my opinion, has some of the worst stat statistics of all the X worst average statistics besides the energy effect. Efficiency, but it makes up for that very much with the fact that its abilities from level one to six are extremely powerful. If so you're if you not use a few credits, units, that abduct can be very devastating. You've also got yeah. blink, which makes you, if you use it correctly, pretty yeah. much immortal. And the, of course, death ray. And so the saucer's abilities, though, are all very strong. I would, I'd say they're all borderline OP abilities. But and at the Rex same time, is dropping the bear traps. He's gonna try and yeah. stop those units from getting into the base. Yeah. yeah. At the same time, though, those those abilities that I'd say are borderline OP when you look at the abilities by themselves. But when you look at them in context of the saucer, I think they're actually pretty well balanced because most of them are mutual exclusive. You can't be blinking while you're using death ray. If you blink while you're using abduct, you lose the abduct. If you uh, so while you're blinking, you can't abduct, etc. While you're on death ray, it actually slows you down. And of course, abduct and death ray, they'd both be borderline OP skills. Death ray at max damage does a lot more damage than even a warthog does. Rex but, still going uh, with those bear yeah. traps, but Zeus is yeah. smart enough to just micro some of his creeps in there, yeah. so he will have the base. Rex pushing out already. Yeah, but on the other hand, since the Sasu is the squishiest air mech in the game, actually, in pure health, accounting for armor, the Neo is probably squishier, but in pure health, the Sasu is actually the squishiest. Um, it's because of that. It, that's what keeps the death ray and abduct balanced, in my opinion. But on the that other hand, Rex bringing out that death ray now, but he is low on health, yeah. so he's going to have to fall back. Yeah. Yeah. So because of that, the saucer is a really interesting air mech, in my opinion. Really OP abilities, but really weak stats, and so they make up, they cancel each other out pretty much to make, in my opinion, a really cool air mech. But at the same time, once the saucer gets past level six, it just kind of stops scaling. And in my opinion, then it really falls off. The fact that it has horrible st statistics kind of starts showing once it gets past level 6. It's leveling from 1 to 6, though, is super strong with Blink, Death Gray, Abduct. And also the damage debuff Absolutely, is really Absolutely, that strong, damage actually. debuff can really assist you when you're going in for a push. Yeah. Especially now, since you're so squishy. An often overlooked ability that can really make for some interesting plays is the Teleport to Cargo Hold ability. Yeah. Despite the low carry yeah. capacity that it has, if you use that ability correctly, you can send some very impressive base drops down onto the enemy or fortress. Or cheeses. cheeses. Very good for well, cheesing, too. <laughs> yeah. Um, but the thing is, after the first level of that, it just the saucer's new abilities just upgrade the the saucer's ability options just kind of get really bad. That's the time when the angel is getting its new alt each new levels of its ultimate, that's when the striker and the helix are getting missile bursts and the helix is getting level 9 missiles. The striker and warthog both benefit a ton from extra stats from leveling up because they both have very favorable statistics. And then, and of course, the... That, yeah. And that is the time when, in addition to all of those mechs scaling up, you're going to see the saucer, the neo, and the paladin all don't really Falling gain all off. that much from those levels. They all fall off. So if you're playing one of those mechs, you definitely benefit from the early game. Yeah, so I think they benefit a ton from getting le from leveling up as quick as possible early game. But then once once they get past level six or seven, depending on what loadout and what level and what how the enemy's playing and etc then they become useless, because in some matches, teleport just isn't useful, in other matches, it, as you said, it is underrated. 
Um, but the Rex there just showing off the Sauce's poor statistics, not actually able to stay in the fight too long. Uh, he was only able to actually pull off a debuff, which actually doesn't do any damage, if I recall correctly, unlike the it Neo Stasis not, Blast. It does not, but it can be very effective when you're pushing in. Yeah, but it's not very effective when you're landing in. Like, like when you're just going to land there and act like it's a Stasis Blast and it isn't. The funny thing is it actually ha it shares icons with the Stasis Blast. I actually never noticed that till I was watching a game of... Uh, Doc Manovich playing against me. It was a Saucer versus Neo game, and I realized because I Saucer and Neo are my main max, but I never once realized that they actually have the same icon for Stasis and the debuff. I always thought the Neo debuff was a lot more blue, and the Saucer debuff was around a lot more purple. But they're actually the same color. It's just when you look at them, the rest of the abilities, all the Saucer's abilities near it are purple and stuff. All the Neo's abilities near it are blue. So, now, Rex has 20 more upkeep than Zeus could even possibly have at this point, so he's in a very fragile position right now. Rex just has the numbers to pour onto him and really cause some impact. Yeah. Um, and he's also maxed out and set on that one outpost. He does not have. Oh, he does have generators, but yeah, he's not making them. You would he's think that you'd want to make generators at this point. Yeah, Rex right now. I'm kind of surprised he's not pushing. He's instead he's like he has twice the upkeep pretty much. Instead he's like, hey, why don't I just go take top? Um, because he's just kind of oh, dang right there. Those and two Rex socketed Cenarchs. And of course, this is the problem with Saucer late game and Neo late game. They just don't scale. Like, you die. Because they have, yeah, yeah. I feel like so the Saucer, quickly. yeah, has a lot of OP abilities on horrible statistics. Besides the air efficiency, the air efficiency is the Saucer's only really strong statistic in my opinion. Well, its air speed is decent, the second highest actually, but its blink is what makes it shine. Actually, the blink makes it more mobile than the than the Neo actually. But when the Saucer is shooting, it's actually the third fastest mech after the Striker. But when you're blinking around, I feel like the Saucer is actually the most mobile on larger maps. So like in open areas, I feel like the Saucer might be the best dogfighter, despite the fact that it slows down more than the Neo or the Striker. But um, in smaller areas, when there's a lot of missiles chasing you... And we've got Zeus you, making some good harass on Rex's yeah. top units. Rex he's taking it, he's going to yeah. make it back to the outpost just fine. But he is going to lose a couple units and domination of that outpost. Yeah. If Zeus um, can get I... some creeps in there, and he can get a nice army there and make it too secure for Rex to take, then that might be what he needed to get back into this game. Yeah. It's worth knowing that that, that, that T99. T99. Yeah. Oh, one of those getting abducted. Rex not going down there. And the T99, T99 claims down. another victim. Yeah, that. Oh, Rex and dying another to that one. same T99. That T99 is currently T99. right now. Actually, I'm not sure which one of the two T99s got the first kill, but I know it at least got two. It got a double kill right there. That's what I'm. Regardless, we can agree that that T99 is OP. Yeah, it, it, yeah, that that T99 is OP. It killed a warthog and a saucer on two different teams right there. Uh, MVP right there. Um, I think we know who the real winner of this tournament is. Yes, this is that that T99. That was the real king of the hill. We should give um, 2,000 diamonds to that T99 right there. Um, Maybe it could buy but, some uh, diamond-plated armor. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, the saucer right now with that late-game scaling. Rex, I feel like, is just as squishy as he was at the beginning of the game. His damage is just the same as it would be, really, one level ago. No, Zeus the game throwing up on. some custom V-pathing. <clears throat> Yeah. Looks like he's going to be making this path Whoa. all the way to the fort. Interesting choice to go around the long way. Yeah, but then again, it is going to be ignoring the bulk of Rex's defenses here. But at the same time, he's sacrificing oh, his entire no. defensive and army he here. He is going yeah. to be sacrificing everything as he pushes it out. If Rex sees this, he can go down to his bottom outpost send that whole yeah. army through, and utterly annihilate the fortress. 
Yeah, so right here, and it looks Zeus like has he's up to there make doing this. just that. Yeah, Zeus has to make this work right here. If it doesn't, well, he's screwed. Well, even if he does make it work, Rex's army has a way shorter drive to get to Zeus's base. It is yeah. coming in right now. There are no defenders mm -hmm. at the base, aside from a couple flackers. It looks like this could be the end. Yeah, that definitely looks like the end of a game right here. Uh, just trying to get on a large enough view of the whole map to see where those units are right there. And that is not a lot of units right there. Zeus's army getting obliterated, actually, as it goes Throwing one up the by GHD. one through the speed path. And there is the game. Rex, you have won your five games. Congratulations.